It's a timepiece wound into Cincinnati history. This watch is um, a Gruen Verithan pocket watch. A precision instrument. This particular one has 17 jewels. With a chronological connection to the past and the future. Uh, the watch theoretically can last uh, forever. It's one family's tie to the streetcar hidden more than half a century. Yeah, the outside uh, shows that it's a basically a presentation to Herman Schmidt for his work uh, and recognition for the uh, Cincinnati Traction Company. From between 1910 and about 1925, yeah, it, it was the streetcar company. Streetcars were well established nationwide by the turn of the century. In Cincinnati, the streetcar system grew to nearly 30 lines. So this must bring back a lot of memories. It sure does. Uh, I started riding these things with my grandma when I was about six years old. Jerry Sider is not only a historian, but a streetcar fan. He says there were lots of factors, but it was the motor car that eventually put streetcars out of business. Henry Ford's Model T was the beginning of the end, yeah. yeah. It took years, but the ride finally came to an end in Cincinnati, too. Jerry remembers it like a death in the family. Sunday morning, April 29th, 1951. This picture was taken that very day. But things are different in Cincinnati now. Times have changed and that streetcar is long gone. But this is about when the mystery of that watch begins. It was put away for 66 years. Then last spring rediscovered. But by this time, no one knew anything about it. We had no idea that, that we had any ties to the, to the streetcar. Cincinnati streetcar transports Bill Schmidt and his family to another era. His great grandfather is Herman Schmidt, that name engraved on the watch. The family knew nothing about him when the watch turned up in a box stored away. We did a bunch of uh, research on him and and uh, uh, his job and found out that he was a carpenter and worked for uh, 40 years building streetcars, the original streetcars for Cincinnati. It turns out Herman built the streetcars beginning in 1890. He continued until the late 1920s. It's likely in 1924 he helped to build this very streetcar, now on display at the museum center. Cincinnati streetcars were so well known for their quality, the company built streetcars for systems across the country. They were craftsmen. They were built individually. Nearing the end of his career, Herman was one of 406 who got the prestigious watch for his years of service. It was put away, only to resurface coincidentally the moment the streetcar was resurrected. Now the watch is an heirloom for Schmidt generations to come, like Lexi Schmidt. It kind of makes me just think about how I have a connection to the past and I'm going to have a connection to the future. It's a timepiece, uh, but it's really a time capsule. It, and it should go on forever. It's history remembered in a curious artifact that commemorates riding the rails as it continues to track time. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.